Aarti Sethi uh, tweets in our next query. Now, she wants to know what is a civil score. She also wants to know how important it is while availing a home loan. She also wants to know how to improve her credit score. Well, Aarti, I can tell you this for the bank, it is very, very, very important and which is why it is essential that you maintain a good uh, credit score. Uh, uh, Karthik, we're getting a lot of questions on this. That's right. What is a good credit score? I mean, of course, what is a, what is a, what is a credit score and what is a good credit score? So, a credit score is like a, a number ranging between 0 and 1000, which is assessing or which is telling the outside world how credit worthy you are or how respectable you are or how valuable you are or how much you will be sort of committed to any loan that you will take. And Whether how or loan not you pay your uh, EMIs yeah. on time. Yeah, yeah. how loan worthy are you? Can Are you somebody who is responsible enough to be given my money or an external person's money, as, a, as in the bank saying my money, and will you pay back this money on time? That's the most important thing. So they want to check your character, your attitude, your discipline, your methodology and all of that. So it becomes a very important number. Now, to be able to get a red carpet treatment in terms of getting a loan, whether it's a car loan or whether it's a home loan or a personal loan or whatever, or maybe even a credit card with a 5 lakh credit limit, a fantastic score to have is something in the excess of 850 or you know maybe towards 900 that is an absolutely brilliant score to have however credit worthiness improves once you cross 700 which means to say in other words if you're below 700 obviously you know most institutions don't want to do business with you now so therefore that and you know pretty much explains why it is important now how you should make sure that you know if it's down it comes up and if it's at whatever level it's maintained Pay everything on time, whether it's your EMI, whether it's your credit card bills, uh, you know, any expenditure that you're doing, as long as it's paid on time, the loans that you take, if you keep taking a lot of loans, again, your score suffers adversely because then it shows that you are trying to have a, a slightly a loan hungry behavior, which means you're taking a lot of loans, maybe you'll not be able to digest it. So essentially, fiscal discipline, paying everything on time, especially your financial transactions, if they are okay, it's great. Even if you have a score which is say, you know, 900 or 700, but you've not taken any loan, could also be a question mark, saying that the person has never taken a loan. So you use a credit card, it's a fantastic way, you get your points and all, and that way you build a brilliant credit history as well. So take a small credit card if you're like a little worried about, you know, splurging too much, maybe with 25,000, 50,000 limit, spend a little bit on that and pay on time. That will build up a brilliant history. I mean, at least it'll be a great starting point. Now say, uh, my counter question to this, uh, Karthik, now yeah. say that, you know, sometime when in uh, in my young ignorant adulthood, I That's have right. taken, I have a credit card, I've spent money, I've not yes. paid on time. And uh, this is probably like 10 years in my past. Uh, will that affect my civil score? And if it does, how do I rectify it? You know, the experience says that it's unfortunately yes. Uh, so, so which means even if you did something back 10 years ago, it's really dependent on the person who's sitting at the desk and the rules that his institution has given him to follow or given her to follow. So sometimes they seem to be completely archaic and you know, they seem to be ridiculous. Something that I did 10 years ago, why should it make a difference now? But, but what is happening is 10 years ago, let's say you were delayed by 60 days. It will show on your record that you were delayed by 60 days. It could have been a genuine mistake. It could have been a mistake that, you know, something so genuine, like you actually went to the bank and deposited the check but some guy who was to pick up the check made a mistake and he didn't pick up your check on time you know and as a result of which you had to suffer even genuine things like this credit uh, civil unfortunately is like a one way street you can only be you know harassed but you cannot have any redressal which is a really sad thing in today's day and age you know you, there is just no redressal mechanism and there is nobody who really wants to take ownership and says okay here i'm here to help you if you have a problem with civil so that's really unfortunate but then that's how um, it is then that's how the state of affairs are so, so what you're essentially saying is if you're stuck with a bad score, you're stuck with a bad score. You're not stuck with a bad score. The score will improve because over a period of time, as long as you maintain your financial discipline, the score will improve. But that black mark will not go away. And, you know, unfortunately, nobody wants to ignore that. I mean, it's ridiculous. They might reject a 20 lakh loan for something that happened worth 200 rupees and that happened, uh, you know, 10, 10 or, 12 or 15 years ago. But who do you speak to? There is no, no person to speak to. It just seems like a robot. So that's the unfortunate that's very truth unfortunate. of the civil score. Yeah. So ensure that you pay your bills, all your bills, especially your credit card bills, on time. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.